Hi everyone, welcome back to another Day Face Spotlight. My name is Katie, and today we're going to be spotlighting a new database favorite of mine. Ever since it has become integrated into our library catalog, we're going to talk about all of that and more as we spotlight the database novelist. Specifically, today we're going to focus on novelists K through eight plus. As you can tell in the title, this is specifically for those grades K through eight. In today's database spotlight, we're going to do an overview of the digital library as a whole, talk about this database's audience, and of course, we're going to walk through how to find this database and use it. But first, let's remember what a digital library is. Remember, this is an all-encompassing collection of free online resources for reading, watching, or learning. This is accessible 24-7 with your library card. You can enjoy streaming services, reading online. You can do research and ancestry work all with your library card all the time. Um, if you are new to ebooks, it's a great way to sort of get started as well. Of course, there are tutorials on how to use most, if not all, our databases you can find on the digital library. Then we get down to a library database. This is a searchable collection of published reliable sources that offers advanced searching for specific needs. We're going to see that displayed today. And as you can see on your screen, a screenshot of Novelist K through 8. We have so many databases um, that range from language learning tools to legal resources, tech help, to homework help. We always say there really is a database for everyone, and we, we believe that there really is. So let's dig into it. Novelist K through 8 Plus is a comprehensive reading resources resource for fiction and nonfiction. So this has a very fun and intuitive interface, and it has a very wide um, and extensive content. This database helps integrate reading into curriculum if you are an educator. And as a whole, it supports our young readers finding their next great read. So we are going to look more at this database. On your screen, you see the library's website, canleyregional.org. And you can scroll down. There are so many good things to um, learn about, to sort of digest on our website. I encourage you to come back and check it out. But today, we're going to go straight to the digital library. This is sort of an A through Z list of the um, databases you might find. I just wanted to show this as one way to get to novelists. We'll scroll down to the end. As I'm scrolling, I will mention there is a novelist for um, young adults and adults. You see it right here, Novelist Plus. Um, and then we have Novelist K3, which is what I'm going to click on today. This is integrated into our library catalog. We're going to see that in just a bit, but let me go ahead and highlight some of the, my favorite features on Novelist. So we have um, um, recommended read lists for fiction and nonfiction over here on the left hand side of your screen. We also have age groups broken up from teen, age nine through 12, and then age zero to eight. You'll notice that on all of these lists, there are these specific sort of book list titles that you can click on. So if I click on age nine through 12, and I am interested in reading animal stories, stories told by animals, you will find that novelist is very specific. Um, it really does have a, a wide variety, very extensive um, information um, to help you narrow down your, your search and what you want to read. So this is an example of one of their recommended reads for this age group, for this grade level, three through six. It will show me these recommended reads. I see the popularity based on how pe some people have rated them. And a lot of times at the end, there is a search for more. So if um, a genre or um, an appeal or a storytelling element is similar to what you've searched, for instance, there will be an option to search for more like that. So you can keep going and keep searching 
based on how detailed you really want to be. So for example, here's um, here are more lists about specific animals, if I wanted to do that. We'll go back to the home screen. And sometimes we just need to find our next read and we might not even know what that is. So a good place to start might be here, which is where they have listed, I'm in the mood for books that, and they have these really great um, adjective driven um, lists that are always right on the dot, I think, when I am working with patrons and recommending titles. So um, plot driven and creepy, menacing and suspenseful, um, let's see, age nine through 12, character driven and spunky, culturally diverse and moving, ages zero through eight. We have silly and colorful, attention grabbing and noisy. So there are lots to choose from. We also have specific genres for those age groups. I also love that they have an awards winner section. Sometimes in schools, we have those recommended reads for recent award winners. This is a great place to find them. And it lists those. We'll go back to the top. Another feature I wanna focus on is how you can browse. I mentioned them um, just now by genre, by appeal, and by award winners. This is a direct place you can go to search. Especially for working with youth, I think this would be great for um, those educators, homeschooling families. Um, I know that myself and my staff use this section, working with youth on Novelist. Quick Links is a, another great place to go if you're just kind of curious about what you might want to read. Book display ideas, we use those a lot at the library. Books to movies is a really popular one, um, and then so much more. So that's a little bit about Novelist. What I am gonna do is go back to our library website. And I want to remind you that you can just search directly here to the catalog. So for instance, I'm gonna go here, make sure I have the searching the catalog button on. And I, need, I want to read more by the author, Kelly Yang. I'm just gonna search. And this searches all three library branches in our system. I can narrow it down if I want to find something physically in the branch I'm in by the library branch. I can also organize it by collection. So if you know what collection your book is in, I know that Kelly Yang writes a lot of juvenile fiction or juvenile chapter books. Um, but I also can see there's some young adults um, in audiobooks that she interested in as well. But for today's purpose, since I don't have a whole lot of numbers um, of items to sift through, I only have eight technically in our catalog. What I like to do as a library staff person is to sort by publication date. And so this is Kelly Yang's newest book. You see me circling it here, Room to Dream. But I think I still haven't read Parachutes. And this is a young adult fiction book. And it does say it's here at my ranch at Hanley. But let me go ahead and show you how Novelist is integrated into the catalog with this example. If I scroll down under details, I can see the author, the subjects, a good summary. Sometimes there are tags, which is sort of a digital book list the library has created. I can see all the copies in our system. It looks like every branch has one copy. That's great, they're all available. But here, series on read-alikes is a new-ish feature. This is um, how Novelist integrates here. So this is taking, taking the Novelist website we were just on, and it's putting it right here on the title that we're searching in your catalog. So you don't have to go to multiple places. It's all right here for you, which is so helpful. Here we see similar titles to Parachutes, similar authors. I can learn more about the story elements of this book. If I have read it or am curious about reading it and I want to go ahead and find some more um, culturally diverse books, it will, as I hover, detail what that means. Um, I like the own voices appeal, which applies to books in which the protagonist and the author share a marginalized identity. I could click on that and see more. 
ratings and reviews, related content. But let's go ahead. If I want to learn a little bit more, I can go directly to Novelist. So let's see more about parachutes and Novelist. Here we're going to see a um, more inclusive and detailed list of the title. This is good to point out too. Um, the library resources link that you see on your screen that takes you to Novelist will need to be connected to your library card number. So I have that plugged in. Once you have this already plugged in and you save that on your own personal device, you're good to go. This connects your library catalog to Novelist to make your search easier. All right, here we go. I see that the this book is recommended for grades nine through 12. Um, it gives me all of those good information. I also see some more search options for me if I really like the location of Los Angeles, California, and I want to read more books, I could select that. Um, or if I want to learn more about um, books we have on parents separated teenagers, let's go ahead and search. This is again, searching novelist, and it's putting um, these books on display. I can sort again as much as I want. So let's go ahead and do the newest date. And the kindred is my first option. Let's go ahead and see if it's in the library catalog. It doesn't look like we have it, but we can always put in a suggest a title to see if we would like that. Here's parachutes we just were seeing. So again, you could go through here and see if you um, have more reads that you would like that are similar based on the title you're looking at. Here are more read-alikes. There really is sort of this endless opportunity um, for you to find your next great read through Novelist. So let's do a quick review. Novelist for Students provides genre-focused book lists and award-winning recommendations based on what you like or what you may wanna read. For educators, it will help with integrating reading across your curriculum while giving your students a way to find So friends, thank you again for watching today's day to Spotlight. Spotlight. Uh, I hope you enjoy checking out Novelist. If you ever have any questions, reach out to information at hanleyregional.org.